everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video with me yeah yes i was about to say your fave and then i was just like but i am your fave my sister is the ultimate fave eh? Eh? okay uh welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video please subscribe join the family we love it here we've just clocked 25,000 subscribers as i film this we're on 25,100 and something as as i film this uh, so thank you so much to all of you who are here who keep coming back I really hope you do enjoy the content I really hope that I'm doing something that's feeding you whether in a personal way spiritual way mental way emotional way I really hope I'm doing something that's just bringing life and goodness to you as young people and also to the channel as well so thank you so much for being here do subscribe click the notification bell do all of those wonderful things before we start to talk about personal development goals for the year and this one is the personal development goals that i have set up for myself for 2022 if you are sitting here and you also want personal development goals and you feel like i might give you some headway or some ideas or something that might be able to motivate you to sit and write something down do it baby girl get a piece of paper do what you gotta do it's fine let's all be in this together okay let's do it together so uh so for me personal development is very very important it always has been on this channel and i feel like if you've been following this channel for a while you will know that i used to do a series called motivate and empower and with that series it was really etching on things like personal development we were talking about the things that will motivate empower inspire us to become better versions of ourselves whether we are better versions of ourselves spiritually physically emotionally financially doesn't necessarily matter but we motivate ourselves to become better versions of ourselves i stopped doing that uh segment because at the time it wasn't bringing in the views that i wanted to see from it and i could tell that um people enjoyed certain content more and i honed in on that but now i think we've developed a family here where we understand that mental health is important personal development is important having difficult conversations is important and we're here for all of it uh then we have fun with your candle with cats and your vlogs and that kind of stuff immediately when i got in my planner my boss planner in uh about a week ago about a week ago immediately when i when i got it in i first thing went into the section with personal development goals and i went into the section with health goals and i went into the section with project goals and i sat down and i started writing and i couldn't stop at some point my like hand my wrist a couple time was a real thing my wrist was actually quite sore at the end of uh, that prepping session but i love it because all my goals and what i want to achieve in terms of finance personal development all of that is in one place that i can look at and keep going back to right throughout the year so this planner is really really good and it's something that i do highly um suggest that you look into getting i hope that i can still have these videos out in january if not early february then you can still get access to the planner as well so i got you girl. for me I definitely honed in on mental, definitely, mental and emotional I kind of put together, mental and emotional I put together, then I did spiritual, financial and health as well, physical, right, so for me, I'm going to get into my personal goals, while you're watching this, definitely do write down yours, okay, when you're doing your vision board and whatever and you're looking at all the things that you want to achieve for the year consider also writing down your personal goals because um in terms of personal development because what better life is there than a life where we become better versions of ourselves each and every single day catch me outside how about that um so for me, mentally, emotionally, the two big things, or three rather, big things that I, that I really want to hone in on this year is to listen more and criticize less. So I've got this thing where I will listen, but I'll always have a comment about something. I always want to say, oh yeah, but that's not cool. Oh, but that's great. Or oh, da-da-da. 
whether good or bad, I think I need to hone in on trying to listen a little bit more and judge less or criticize less or comment less. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's something bad, criticize less, judge less. If it's something good, try to limit your commenting, okay? Like if somebody's gonna say, oh my God, I, I got a promotion or whatever. Yes, please comment, listen more, listen to how they actually got the promotion, what they had to go through to get the promotion. Oh, I didn't even know that you were getting promo, you you were in line to get promoted or you, or you, you put your application in for that particular job. Ask more of the critical questions instead of just saying, oh, well done, oh my God, let's go celebrate, let's go drink, blah, blah. It's fine, we're gonna do all of those things either way, but I think be more intentional about your listening, my listening, this is for me. Be more intentional about my listening, criticize a little bit less, judge less. We're all gonna criticize, we're all gonna judge. Somebody sitting there thinking, ah, why did you put those colorful books there? Why is this thing here? Oh, she still likes this thing. Yes, I do, I do. I like how it feels when I have my back to it and I'm working, okay, I do. So. Try not to judge, judge less, okay? Criticize less because our situations are not the same and let's not, let's not do that, let's not do that. Um, the next thing is listening more intently, which is what I said, right? Listening more intently, listen with intent to understand, listen with intent to hear, listen to with intent to respond and not react. I started speaking about this line last year in, in one of my vlogs listen more to respond and not react so if you react you're gonna you're gonna react instantly if somebody says i didn't like how you made me feel in front of those people when you were sitting at the table and you questioned me and you made me feel like you know like i was dumb you made me feel small you made me feel whatever instead of immediately saying no i didn't mean to make you feel that maybe just listen Listen first, don't react on a whim, and maybe just listen to respond. Take it in, process, listen more intentionally and intently. There's a difference, right? But listen with more intention and listen intently. Like literally bring yourself to that space to listen, right? These are things that you already know that I take very, very seriously on my channel, so I'm not going to go into them as much. Self-love, loving myself, romanticizing my life, I am going to continue with that because it gave me one of the best years in terms of emotional love, understanding, um, emotional presence even to myself. It gave me one of the best years, 2021. 2021 was shit in so many other ways, but I, I, I won with a couple of things in 2021. Um, so I'm not going to get too much into self-love and self-care because I pr project that quite a lot in my content uh, on my channel. So you'll be seeing that throughout the year anyway. So we're good there. And then lastly, reading. So for me, mental reading is very, very important for me. And I feel like this year, I've made the cognizant decision to actually read things that will feed my mind and feed my soul as well. So, fiction feeds my mind, feeds my soul, feeds my loins sometimes. You know what I'm saying? When I'm reading a, no a romance novel, <laughs> um, you know, frightens me, scares me, all of that kind of stuff. But, but in truth, I really want to start reading um, self-help books that do not come across as preachy. So books like Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits is the next book that I'm going to be reading. And I'm in terms of self-help because I read a self-help book in conjunction with a novel. I don't never, I, I never just read a self-help book alone, no. Um, so that's the next book that I want to read and I want to get insights on and maybe learn a little bit more about myself on or what I, or what I can do, <coughs> excuse me, and what I can do to make my um, self or my life better. So I'm, I'm planning on doing that too. So that's all the stuff that I've picked up in the mental sphere of things and the emotional sphere of things. Just to be more present, I feel. Uh, to listen intently, but also just be more present to all the people that are in my life. Um, to be more present to you guys. I'm available. You guys know in my DMs, I'm there. I'm answering your DMs. Um, you know, I'm there answering your emails and all of that. So 
when I'm available, I'm available. So for me, physically, it's really not rocket science. I'm going to be focusing on the progression of my body. Now, I spoke about this in my last vlog where I said I had gained about three and a half, four kilograms. That was a week ago. I have come down 1.7 kilograms today in a week. Little over a week, maybe about eight, nine days. I've come down about a, a kilo and, and seven. And, and for me, I didn't even, it had nothing to do with the gym. I'm not even back at the gym yet. I don't even know if I wanna go back to the gym, but that's a story for another day because one minute I do, one minute I don't. And I never am hard on myself when it comes to gym. If I wanna go to the gym, I'll go. If I don't wanna go, I don't go. Uh, because for me, I know the real true secret, okay? The real true secret is treat your body right by eating right, period. Point blank, there isn't anything. You wanna lose weight, eat right. The gym is gonna help tone you up and it's, the gym is literally 15, 20% of everything. So if you're really looking at losing weight and all of that, eat right, eat right, feed your body with the right nutrients, minerals, you know, feed your body with the correct foods. So I don't worry too much about gym, even though I do know, um, so even though I do know that when I'm ready to go back to the gym, I will. But for me, physically is focusing on the progression of my body through what I eat, through working out when I do, but also very, very important is just treating it well. So romanticizing my life and my body too, looking after it, right? That's, that's honestly as simple as it is. I'm not too hard on myself. I've already started on the eating clean bandwagon and my body has responded to that. Um, so I feel great. I feel a lot better than I did a week ago, but I was also sick a week ago. So differences, right? Um, so yeah, that's honestly, in terms of physically, that's all I'm looking at, right? Working out, treating my body right, eating right. Very, very important, but I'll get more into that in the health goals video. But yeah, pretty much just that on that. Spiritually, religiously, as well in my case right now, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that for a long time, in 2020, for pretty much all of 2020 and maybe the first half of 2021, I was very into my faith. I was very connected with God. I was, God and I were here, same with that group. Every single day, I was opening my Bible, I was praying, I was putting up Bible phrases on Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter, all of that, because I was extremely connected to my faith. Since then, it's kind of wavered off a bit. I do pray, uh, but not every day. I'm not in it like I was, and I miss being in that space. So I have made a cognizant decision again to pray every single day and open the Bible at least once a day. If I'm not opening the Bible physically, I'm opening a Bible app and I'm reading the word of the day or um, just anything that connects me to uh, my faith, my religion, really, really important to me to hone in on that, harness it a, a lot more, um, refine my connection with God a lot more. Very, very important to me that. Um, and I know that some people watching this are not very religious. You can just, this, this little here part about the religion and the Bible part, you can skip out, of course, sure. But um, then, hence why I say spiritually, because uh, Headspace is an app that I use on my phone, right? Headspace is really, really great for meditating. It's not even only just Headspace, uh, but I really also just want to connect with myself in terms of meditating, relaxing, being at peace with myself. Because I have a lot of internal battles with myself, things that I don't really talk about on this channel, but I have a lot of internal battles with myself. So, Things like the Bible app, obviously, for the religious. Let me just show you what I've got in terms of what I am planning on working on spiritually. Um, I will put in something here so you can see. So this is, whoops, see, see my Google Calendar just did that. <laughs> okay, uh, this is my spirituality and chill uh, folder. 
and in it you've got fitness for my eye watch whatever when i go to the gym all of that the watch uh better sleep which helps with sleeping discovery not going to go into because that's got my medical aid information and all of that discovery works really well with when i go to the gym woolly certain certain points points you know then there's life some holy bible is the one that i use every single day sleep cycle works very similarly to better sleep abide and headspace are really really great um for meditating and are really great for when you just want a moment with yourself it's really really hard to get into because in truth we get distracted quite a lot so let's just switch off the recording thing in truth we get distracted quite a lot but apps like abide and um um headspace are phenomenal with trying to quieten you quieten you on the inside quieten you on the outside just quieten you just bring things back a little bit um so i'm working on that as well really really important to me also in terms of my financial goals i do not talk about my financial goals online i don't plan on starting today however what I will say, which is what I am planning on doing in 2022, is saving a lot more. In 2021 and 2022, I couldn't save. I was literally at the point where I was even pulling from my savings. So I made a huge dent in my uh, life savings and in, in my investments and all of that. So I need to recoup all of that. So any little extra sense that I'm going to make from whatever, you know, gigs, campaigns, um, anything, anything, my YouTube videos, anything, um, I'm going to put away as much as I can. For the house thing, you can get into this with me. Whatever your pocket allows, you will decide for yourself. For the house thing, I have planned to put away 300 bucks, 300 bucks in the house, cash, right? each and every single month that's what i can handle putting away in the house and then in my investments i'm planning to put away at least three thousand rand a month so if i can keep it up great if i can't do it i don't know before i was able to save a lot more than that but right now i can't and i need to be able to still live my life the way i want to live my life if i want to go out to lunch i should be able to go out to lunch without having to worry about like oh my god um, so I still want to be able to live my life the way I want to live my life how I'm gonna do it in the savings sphere yeah that pretty much brings me to the end so I spoke about all of them in terms of personal development spiritually financially mentally uh, and emotionally and um, physically so for me those are really important for me to achieve this year i'm going to work on those things to just make myself a better version of myself these are the really important things that i want to focus on uh, but when it comes to personal development i feel like don't be too hard on yourself do what you can especially when it comes to physically and maybe financially do what you can do what your body allows do what your pocket allows but don't be too hard on yourself i just threw out numbers there which is something that i know i'd be quite comfortable with for now and if things get better i'm definitely going to be able to put away more and all of that um, but for mental health and all of that, I'm very, very stringent and serious about things like that. You guys know this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this personal development goals for 2022 video has inspired you in some way. If it has, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Appreciate you. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it on my side. I'm going to go and... I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, join the family, okay? See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.